Hi Christmas crew, it's Shannon and welcome to the Cozy Christmas Cottage. I also want to thank June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. We are heading into Dollar Tree today to grab Santa hats. Yep, this is going to be a very, very Christmassy video because all the projects are going to include these very special Christmas hats. I love them. They are so bright. And they even have different styles that you can choose from a Dollar Tree too. So use which ones fit your style. We're also gonna need some safety pins for this project. We're gonna make a Santa hat garland. I love this project because it is quick, easy, and mess free. And I think we can all appreciate that. To make this garland, we're putting the openings facing up and then taking our safety pins and feeding them through the both of the sides of our Santa hat next to the seam that is connecting them side to side. Now I'm going to be adding mine to my fireplace mantle. So I'm using five hats here, but depending on where you're going to add yours, whether it's to the top of a window, like a valance or on the side of an entryway table, you may need more or less hats. So definitely measure your space before you start creating your garland. Now to make this hangable, I have some red and white Baker's twine and a yarn needle. We are going to feed the string from the outside to the inside of the end hat and then pull your needle back out the other side. That is going to give us a little piece of string hanging off to the end of the garland so that we can then use it to hang from a nail or a command hook or this is actually a very light garland so I was able to hang mine up with some packing tape and it held up fine. What I love about this idea too is it's kind of a different take on stockings. So you could even put little treats in these hats, put names on them, monograms on them. So I just think it's such a fun and cute and bright different unique idea even be cute for a christmas party i'm sure a lot of us feel like crafting is a great way to unwind and relax but i found this great game called june's journey that has been so helpful for me to relax at the end of a busy day and i'm sure we all have a lot of those this time of the year I love June's Journey. It's a hidden object mystery game with a captivating detective story that takes you back to the glamour of the 1920s with a diverse cast of characters. Each new scene takes you further through a thrilling murder mystery story that sets the main protagonist, June Parker, in a quest to solve the murder of her sister and uncover her family's many secrets. It is a lightly challenging game in a way that is still relaxing, but allows you to put your senses and observations to the test, but it keeps your mind fresh. And even better yet, you can download June's Journey for free by clicking the link below in the description box. June's Journey is available on Android and iOS mobile devices, as well as on PC through Facebook games. I hope you get a chance to check out June's Journey. Now on to our next project. If you can find these, they have $5 Christmas trees that are four foot tall, a dollar tree plus now. They have the same base as the little mini trees that you can find. But if you can't find the big ones, you could take this concept and still use them with the mini trees for $1.25 that you can get a dollar tree still. I even have a video on how to hack the small trees and the big trees, and I will link those videos if you missed it. But let me show you what we're gonna use the Santa hat for in this project. We're going to take two of these Christmas trees, take the bottoms off. We don't need those. And we're going to grab some pipe cleaners and we are actually going to put two of the four foot trees together. If you're using the mini trees, use two mini trees instead for this. We're going to fluff, fluff the branches so it is flat on one side, fluffy on the other side, and literally just sandwich them together. You're going to use those pipe cleaners and then twist them around the base of your tree or the trunk of your tree all the way up. So basically we're taking two trees and we are making one. Then we're going to go ahead and continue fluffing the tree. Now, because the base doesn't work because we took those off and they were only made for one tree, we need to make a new base. So I grabbed a metal bucket from Dollar Tree and some styrofoam. We're going to stuff our bucket with the styrofoam and we're going to make sure it's pretty good and tight in there. You can use a little bit of hot glue as well. Just make sure we have a good base because our tree is going to sit in here. So like I'm showing you here, add some hot glue and fill it with styrofoam to the top. Now we can start putting our tree into a basket. You can also use a planter, use an urn, use whatever you have around the house. Basically, we just need a bigger base because our bucket is gonna make it top heavy and it's not gonna sit up. So I also added some bricks 
into the basket to add some weight to it and then shoved the tree right down into the styrofoam. This worked beautifully. However, you could still kind of see on the inside of the basket. So I took some scrap fabric and put that in there to cover up the bricks and all that. You could use a blanket or a towel here too. So our tree is looking pretty good right now, but we are gonna dress it up with that Santa hat. Like I said before, I did add some Christmas lights onto mine and then you wanna take your branches, you wanna kind of push them down. You want them sticking straight out because we are gonna turn this Christmas tree into a Santa Christmas tree or it's kind of gonna look like a gnome too, but I feel like the Santa hat makes him look more like a Santa Claus. So we're gonna take our Dollar Tree Santa hat, put that on the top of the tree, and then I grabbed a mop from Dollar tree and we're going to use that for his beard. It does have some plastic on the top so we're going to push that up underneath the hat and we're going to take a piece of the mop one on each side and then wrap it around to the back and tie a knot that is going to secure our Santa beard in place. Now I found these big pom-pom balls. I was gonna use that for a nose for the Santa Claus, but the white really blended into the hat and into the mop. So I went a completely different route. I had these ornaments on hand. They're also from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of 12, I believe. They were the perfect size to kind of tuck underneath the hat and into the mop. So just hot glued that into place. And as you can see, we have the looks of what's starting to become our Santa Claus tree. Now we're gonna make some mittens for this guy. I grabbed a fleece scarf from Dollar Tree. I grabbed out a piece of scrap and a white marker, just kind of traced around my hand to make that mitten shape, folded the fabric in half, and then cut that mitten shape out to give me two mittens that we're gonna attach onto this tree. Now, another tip I had added into that last video was to add some extra greenery onto these trees. They are, even when you put them together, a little bit sparse. So if you add some extra greenery in there, like these picks that I found on Amazon, I'll link those down below along with all the supplies I'm using in today's video to make it easy for you to find. But it just kind of covers up any of the gaps or kind of bare spots on this tree. And then I just tucked the mittens off to the side. Then I did some extra fluffing just to make sure this tree looked really nice and full, added some more of those stems, and look how cute he is! This really takes next to no time at all. It is quick, affordable, easy, and like I said, he's about four, maybe four and a half feet tall now with that basket. Very, very cute, and I don't know, he's just a fun little guy. I absolutely love finding new things at Dollar Tree, and they have these photo clip wreath things. I'm not quite sure what they're calling them, but I thought it'd be so fun to add a Santa hat to this to make it Christmassy. But the Santa hats are fabric, so we need to add something in there to give it some stability. So this is just a scrap piece of foam board, also from Dollar Tree. Trace that out and cut it with some scissors, and we're going to insert that into the inside of the hat so it doesn't flop over. And then we're going to stick that wreath up off to the sides. So you can either put it directly on top, but I kind of offset mine to the side a little bit. Just use some hot glue all on the inside of the hat and kind of sandwiched the wreath in there. You'll press the hat together until it is set up and then you can add a little bit of hot glue on the top there to also keep your pom-pom ball in place so it's not flopping all over the place. And here is what this is looking like. Now I have to show you this new printer that I have. This is something I feel like crafters need to. It's a photo printer and you have the app on your phone. So any photos that you take, it Bluetooths to your phone. You pick it out and you print them. It even does these collages like this. So I picked four photos printed it and then we are just going to take some scissors and cut them out. They're going to be the perfect size to clip onto this Dollar Tree wreath. I love saving memories like this. This is from our first snow meeting Santa Claus this year. We dressed up our puppy and took some family photos. So I love displaying family memories. You could also use this for notes. So maybe shopping lists or Christmas wish lists, or this would be really, really cute if you have a few Christmas cards to display. I don't know, it's just adorable and turned a regular everyday wreath into a fun Christmassy display. I'll also make sure to link that printer down below. Now our next project is very similar to the wreath. We're gonna do something pretty similar. We're gonna put some foam board up into our Santa hat and we're gonna attach it onto this 
charger plate, which is also from Dollar Tree. I love this one. It's silver and it's got some raised snowflakes on it. So it has a little bit of detail, but it's not overdone. We're going to hot glue that hat onto the front and the back. And then we're going to add a decal onto the front so we can make our own little Santa's cookie tray for Christmas Eve. So what I like about this is, you know, this isn't a tray that you would use every day, just once a year, right? So definitely don't throw this in the dishwasher. Don't put it in the sink and run water over it. Maybe just take a Lysol wipe or disinfecting spray after Christmas Eve when you put your cookies on there and save it for the next year. Or it's just cute maybe to even just display in your kitchen. This was a new idea for me and I had to share it with you guys. You can use Santa hats as a really cute way to give gifts, almost like a gift bag. So you just pop your gift inside the hat and then tie it up with some ribbon, some string. I have this Christmas cording, which I love, and just tied it around the top of the hat and tied a bow on there. Simple, quick, and easy. However, I have another project I wanted to add on here to go with this. So you can also find metal gift tags at Dollar Tree. They come in a set of three. We're going, we're going to actually paint these up to look very Christmassy and Santa Claus themed. So this one we're going to paint red and another one we're going to paint white. I like to use chalk paint because it will stick really well to the metal and dry quickly for you. I did have to do three coats on both of those. Now this first one, the red one, we're going to turn into a Santa belt. So I'm using some chalk markers and some paint pens to draw on the black belt and the gold buckle and then a white chalk marker to write from Santa onto the front. Quick and easy and so cute. Now this next one, the white one, we're going to turn into an actual Santa Claus. So we're going to block off the top with some red and then take a flesh toned paint coming down a little bit to make another stripe and some darker pink to make a nose and some rosy cheeks and we're gonna let that dry. Come in with a Sharpie marker, draw in your details. So we have the eyeballs and the mustache and the smile, just kind of touching it up here and there. And then you can write from Santa on the bottom. Both of these are so cute to add onto your Santa gifts or even onto your Santa hat gift bag. The Santa gift is a big tradition in our house. Santa always brings one big gift to each child, each of our kiddos every year, and then all the rest of the gifts are from us. But let me know what your tradition is down in the comments below. Do you do Santa gifts? Does Santa bring all the gifts? I would love to know. I shared this project over on my other channel, The Daily DIYer. If you're not following me over there, you definitely should. You'll get year round content over there as well as even more Christmas content right now. So I'll link that down in the description box below. We're using one of the white mini Christmas trees this time from Dollar Tree. We're going to flip it upside down, pull all the branches to the front and fluff the front branches. Now I'm including this project in there because we're using a Santa hat with it. So we're going to stick that tree into the hat. Hat. Now this hat is not from Dollar Tree. You could absolutely use a Dollar Tree hat. So it's kind of big, it's kind of fluffy, and you actually are gonna have to kind of either add more trees in here to make it more fluffy or do what I did and just kind of glue it all together and then flip it to the back side and wrap the hat around to the back to kind of scale it down to size. And as you'll see, we're kind of making a great alternative to a front door wreath. So we're going to take, again, a miniature little ornament to use as the nose of our Santa Claus here, adding some hot glue onto the hanger part of the ornament, tucking, up, tucking it up underneath the hat, letting that sit so it can dry, kind of fluffing the branches around it so it looks really fluffy. And then we're going to add some ribbon onto the back side so we can hang it. So we're just kind of creating a loop, tying a knot, cutting off the excess, and then we're gonna flip our wreath or our Santa Claus over and we're gonna hot glue that onto the back of the hat. So this is another fun and quick project and looks really cute on your front door, but mine actually ended up on the bedroom door of my son. He loves this cute little guy. I would love for you to head down to the description box, click on that link so you can try out June's Journey. It was a super fun game. I hope you'll try. I also have videos popping up on your screen you can click over and watch next. I want to thank you all so, so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one. Happy holidays.